Hello everybody, and today I'm going to awaken Assassin Sasha. Um, this has taken me a while because it just took me a while to be able to do the Ghost Lady. I don't like having to do her. So, let's go for it. Um, here we go. Oh, it makes her outfit look like it's got gold on it. And I'm not going to worry about that. And it gives her the light element. And let's look at the stat page now. Um, the action skill is the same, but now we have Sacred Trinity. A 20% light attack damage 15 times to all enemies. All allied heroes attack slash defense up 15% for 5 turns. That's actually really strong. So I'm going to show you, and even at only 4 star, because I'm still lack 21 souls, is 37,568. So the gear that I have on her is basically this. Um, her X weapon is the Blood Umbrella, which is has the skill Death Candy, which is 56% um, attack damage three times to the nearest enemy 35 percent defense up for self for two turns and that's only a skill level four so it'll probably go up to 60 percent attack damage at the next one and because she's light based i put an asgard blade on her and i just have basic defense and attack up equipment on to complement what she already can do so let's do a solo test against Garm and see how she can do. Alright, and here I am. I'm going to try her against Gala Garm Strikes 4 star on her own. And like I said, her power score is 37,568. So let's see how she does. Now this is a solo, so shouldn't nobody join me. Now what she is particularly good at is crystal crushing. And she has a pretty good defense too, so she can tank on her own quite a bit. Usually I do 3 star for the test, but in her case I chose to do 4 star even though she's not 100% as strong as she could be it doesn't matter and this is the limit break that she gets sacred trinity which is the exact same one that gold or uh scald has so you can use her together with scald and make it twice as strong So one more hit ought to end this part of the battle. So it took about 1 minute and 6 seconds to do the first health bar, which is pretty good for a character or by theirself. And that right there was one hit crystal crush. And then he just howled at me. I love how spikes just come out of the umbrella, that's pretty funny. But all in all, he's not really doing enough damage to be able to hurt her, and she only has one healing item on, so it's... Honestly, I probably don't even need the healing item. But do not underestimate Sasha. She's a really strong character. If you have her, it's worth awakening her because she can tank a lot. There we go. That fight took 2 minutes and 11 seconds. On a 4 star by herself. And let's see what kind of damage. I did 539,000. So all in all, I would... Definitely recommend working on awakening her if you have her in your party and just 
keep at it and I know the ghost is a pain but do whatever you can do and solo it if you have to that's the way I did it I did got every one of the runes doing it solo because nobody else was running it I'd run multi by myself so that's the only tips I can give you um, thank you for watching and have a good day and if you like the video please subscribe